Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of September 25th through October 2nd. Now, keep in mind the timing is fluent. If you are watching this reading beforehand, I have done one for this week as well, and I'll tag it to the end. Uh, so what do we have for Libra? Happy birthday for those of you that are having a birthday this week. What do we have for Libra? Oh, that's too many. I think we'll, we'll take these. Yeah, we'll take those. But... Take care. Enemies are working against you. Get that to zoom in. I changed cameras because my other one was too loud. But take care. Enemies are working against you. Boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Wedge. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. So there is definitely somebody that is working against you. That is absolutely 100% clear. And purse. Pay attention to your finances. Pay attention to your finances. Pay attention to your money. Um, someone is working against you. Not good. You're going to have to increase your efforts <sighs> because there's somebody, you have an enemy. Okay, this enemy is competing with you. So whoever this enemy is, this enemy that is competing with you is, is the past. This is the past. You're going to have to increase your efforts, you know, to get ahead of them or to beat them or whatever the case is. What do we have for Libra? Your soulmate is not who you think it is. Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Somebody has Capricorn in their chart. Enemy disguised as a friend. Well, that's a very clear message now, isn't it? Very clear. You definitely have somebody here that is, you may think that they are your friend. They absolutely, positively are not. Okay, so uh, I think that you definitely need to be careful. Mm -hmm. Enemies are working against you this week. And you may not even be aware of it. Hmm. What do we have? What do we have for... Oh, well, that just came flying out. The chariot could be dealing with a cancer. We have cancer, Capricorn. We also have Pisces, Pisces or cancer. All is not as it seems. Look deeper. If something feels off, it is. Really listen to your intuition. Really. Um, there could even be some illness here. We may have some, some sort of paranoia. There's somebody around you that, you know, maybe causing some sort of fear. Um... Or you, there's something you're not seeing. The surface may look really good because that's the moon. The moon makes it look mysterious. It makes it look good, but it's not what it is, okay? I can make a, a shadow on the wall that looks like a duck. It's actually my hands, okay? The moon is deception. It's illusion. I think that you definitely, absolutely, whenever the moon card comes out, you do have to be careful because... All is not as it seems. Um, the chariot is movement. It's taking a journey. It's going somewhere. Um, facing opposition. Um, you are going to be dealing with some opposition. You may have to leave something. Uh, you may have to go in a different direction. I mean, the chariot is getting in the driver's seat, taking control, taking the reins, finding the discipline to take charge, leaving something behind. So this is a journey. Mastering emotions. You are going to have to master your emotions. But there is somebody that you have to take control back. You have to take your control. You have to take the lead. You have to be the boss of your own destiny, right? There is somebody around you that is definitely not your friend. And I'm not sure you're aware of it because of the moon. The moon is a lack of awareness. It may look real good on the surface, but it's not. 
intuitive nudges. Intuition is the language of the soul. We are all born aware with a profound sense of inner knowing. Intuition is one of the greatest gifts we possess, which keeps us connected to our higher selves, the universe, and to our divine spirit. Now, the moon would signify that you do definitely need to listen to your intuition. You will get a nudge. You will get a nudge, but you. And, and the thing is, is you you won't. You can't ignore it. You can't ignore the messages. You may want to ignore the messages. Maybe you feel like this person is a soulmate. You know, sometimes, you know, our heart gets in the way of what is actually true. Um, just saying. What do we have for Libra? There's an enemy disguised as a friend here. Really pay attention. This could cost you. Mm -hmm. What do we have for Libra? Playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Hmm. Let's get one more. What do we have for Libra? Wedding. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Commitment. I don't know if you're dealing with some, I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that is married or you're, some of you may be married to this person, could be a Capricorn or somebody has Capricorn, Cancer or Pisces in their energy. Something could be leading to marriage. I mean, the chariot is, you know, a journey. It's going somewhere. Somebody could be leaving a marriage or a contract. Some of you may be in a situation where somebody's trying to mess up your contract or your marriage. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful of uh, your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Some of you need to be playful with somebody. You need to be more open, more playful, more flirtatious. But there is somebody here in this reading that is causing you problems, put it that way. This person may be jealous. Obviously. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. Then we have enemies working against you. You may be, com I think that you're completely unaware of it. Some of you may have another soulmate that you're unaware of. It's interesting because your soulmate is not who you think it is. Then we have intuitive nudges down here. Somebody is being intuitively guided. I mean, that's travel. Go. There's definitely going to be some, somebody may be going somewhere. They may be traveling somewhere, going somewhere this week. Oh, what do we have for Libra? Passion and pleasure. Savor your life. Find joy in the moment, no matter what is occurring in your life. If you simply focus on what is splendid, wonderful, and pleasurable in the moment, everything improves. Live deliciously, love often, and live fully. Cherish your friendships. Fav fill your life with the people, experiences, and places that give you delight and joy. Let go of those people and things that don't appreciate or empower you. Give yourself permission to be happy. I think that this is probably a week where you need to have fun. I feel like for some of you, you need to leave behind somebody because this is leaving something behind that is really not your friend. This person is not your friend. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. There's an unrequited love situation here that I wasn't going to bring up, but I, I really have to. 
there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So you got it's like you're you have an opportunity here to be happy, maybe even you know connect with somebody on a very deep level that could be a long term situation. But it's like, and, and we do have in, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goal. Maybe you have to be open to connecting with somebody, be more open minded. Anyhow. The sacred traveler wants you to know when the traveler meets a band of gypsies, the traveler stops to dance into the early morning hours. Sometimes we get so caught up with wondering what's around the next bend and worrying about our current challenges that we forget to focus on what's great in the moment. You're not meant to simply work hard and be diligent and practical. Embrace pleasure wherever you can. Allow your senses to be satiated. Find and explore the beauty around you. You don't need to suffer to grow. You can grow spiritually by leaps and bounds through joy. Dance, eat well, and drink well. Share joy wherever you can. It's time to be happy. It's time to have some fun. Maybe you need to go out dancing. Maybe it's maybe it's just time for you to... Um, well, that chariot is moving forward. Um, I saw something here that stuck. Hold on facing the challenges and that chariot is facing the challenges going in a new direction headed towards passion and pleasure just go have fun go go and have fun commit yourself to having fun to recapture the feeling of romance maybe you've been working 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 maybe you've had some sort of you know we have multiple soulmates in a lifetime maybe you've maybe you're closing a chapter with a previous soulmate maybe you have another one um <clears throat> traveling towards passion and pleasure committing to moving forward turning your back on something that is not your friend somebody that is not your friend um i feel like you're definitely headed towards success you're headed towards victory you're taking control some of you may literally be going places going somewhere with somebody maybe it's like a date night or something like that um, what do we have for Libra? Illusion. Ah, there is some sort of illusion here. And I could see that with the moon card. The moon is illusion. It is. It's, it's deception. It's, it's not real. Okay. What you see is not what you get. I feel like you, you know, somebody has been in a state of illusion, Divine awakening. I just opened up to divine consciousness. Interesting. You're waking up. Maybe you're waking up from some sort of illusion. That's weird how I went to that one. Appearances are not what they seem. You need more information. There are no dead ends in a labyrinth. It appears as if you are continuous, continuously going around in a circle. Labyrinths are temples that insist on, un, on in uncovering the truth, bringing enlightenment of spirit and consciousness. From a distorted reality, one is never truly lost within it. Within the labyrinth, we find our own internal compass to lead us in the right direction. And you are going to be going in a, I feel like you're going in a new direction. Lead us in the right direction, awakening and unifying our spirit within the cosmos. This illusion of time and space represents the distortion of your own reality. The distortion of your own reality. The labyrinth is an, is an exercise in your soul's development. This illumination of self pushes towards individual experience so that you can make informed decisions. Although it may feel like your senses are misleading you, deep down you know the outcome as you have already been here before. Deep down you do. Deep down you know the outcome. I know that you do. Illusions can fool and mislead you into believing a situation is ideal or a person is genuine in their interest or affection when in fact it's the opposite people can present themselves as helpful but have a secret agenda be careful now in your approach to others 
The way forward is blurred with smiling assassins. Don't believe everything you hear or see right now. Stay alert. Caution is required for you to see through the smoke and mirrors. Without you seeing the full picture, an error in judgment is likely to occur. The key here is to see through the illusion of glamour and helpfulness to what is going on behind the situation. False ideas and beliefs, false ideas and beliefs are currently influencing you. I can't make that shit up. Researching your ideas or pursuits further will give you clarity and deeper insight prior to any decision making. Distractions are everywhere right now. Your soul's compass is asking you to reassess your direction, to uncover your true path. Does the, this action or decision bring you closer to your life's purpose? There's some sort of illusion here. There is. And I feel like deep down, you know the outcome. But the illusion, the mystery, the feeling of it, the belief, the... the if you think about the moon, the moon is fantasy. It's what everybody wants to live in that fantasy. To live in that grand illusion. There's some sort of situation that is unfolding that is going to, I feel like, wake you up. This is some sort of awakening. Somebody may be trying to play with you. This is a playfulness, you know. They're playing with you. I feel like you need to be very careful with this player. That is something you're going to be dealing with right now. You need to come out of the illusion. You need to find your inner strength. You do. You need to find your discipline to turn your back on it. You know, there's an opportunity, obviously, for a commitment here. And I feel like there's somebody that may want to, I don't know, if they just want to have fun with you. It may be fun, but is it long term? Is it an, is it an illusion? Is it something you want to get involved with? Especially if it, I wanted to say, if it's going to set you back. Some of you may be already married, you know. And there's somebody around you that is, or there's somebody here that may be married. You know, and you need to be careful. Whenever the moon or illusion comes out, and, we, and I just read the card, you need to be careful. There's somebody here with hidden agendas. There absolutely is. It could really cost you. It could cost you a lot. Two of Cups. There has to, this definitely has to do with a union, a partnership. Ah, the moon and death. Death reverse. This is resisting release. Holding on is holding on to an illusion is getting old. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Definitely a water sign energy. We also have Capricorn here. All is not as it seems. I suggest that you be damn careful. This will probably be something that isn't going to last. Death reversed is... What can be like a near-death experience or a need to release, a need to let go, but resisting it, resisting it, resisting it. You know, it's like... Time's up, but I will not release it. I will not let it go. There's some sort of addictions here. Could even be obsession with the moon card. Something is coming back around. I mean, you may have thought it was over. It's not over. This is a playfulness. Somebody wants to play. I suggest that you be careful and continue moving forward. You can, you, the choice is always yours, okay? The choice is always yours. This is an opportunity for passion and pleasure. But I want you to be careful. I think that you really need to be careful of illusion. For some of you, there is somebody, if you're single, there is somebody coming towards you. This is a very passionate energy. It's mysterious. It's alluring. You will be drawn to it for sure. 
but I think that you need to make sure that you are looking deeper. Look really deep. Is this person already connected? Are they already married? You know, are you already married? You know, be very careful with your choices this week because I feel like it could cost you. Traveling towards something passionate for sure. Could be something from the past with the death card reversed. The moon represents the past as well. Some of you, not everybody, obviously have a chance to save a marriage. You can save your marriage by recapturing mo romance and having fun with that, going someplace, traveling with that person. You can save your marriage. But you have to be really careful of illusion, be careful of addictions, be careful of being lured in by some sort of deceptive individual. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs>